California is now in its fifth year of consecutive drought, a drought considered by some experts to be the worst the state has seen in modern history. And with the number of trees struggling to survive due to the lack of water now multiplying across the state, comes an increase in danger from another much smaller but just as impactful threat, bark beetles. Right now, it's an epidemic. You know, it's, it's, it's in so many places and it's killing so many trees. Aerial surveys have documented the alarming amount of bark beetle tree mortality all across the state, with the latest count showing over 29 million trees now killed by drought and tree pest activity, and the numbers only expected to rise over the next several years. While bark beetles are a natural part of California's ecosystems, experts say that during times of extreme stress like droughts, trees are unable to fend off attacks from pests like bark beetles. In years when we have normal precipitation or above, you know, we see very little bark beetle activity. When precipitation starts to go into uh, below, below normal, we start getting into a drought after we've had a few years like that, two or three years like that. The bark beetle populations start building up because they're taking advantage of trees that are stressed by the drought. The past four years of extreme drought in California have allowed bark beetle populations to explode to epidemic levels all across the state. And experts warn that historically, even after a drought ends, the effects of bark beetle epidemics can last three to five years before any significant decrease occurs in that tree mortality. An increase in dead trees means an increase in extremely flammable vegetation, which could lead to larger, more intense and damaging wildfires. It's very concerning. It's, it's adding to the fuel load, the more available fuel for the fire to burn. These trees are very available to burn. They're very, very dry. This is especially concerning to homeowners living in the wildland urban interface where dead and dying trees may be dangerously close to homes. We need the help of the public in the situation we're in. There's too many dead trees out there. The more defensible space they can provide, the more opportunity it is for us to get in and work safely around those homes. Homeowners are encouraged to be proactive in reducing the threat by learning the signs of bark beetle infestation on their trees and checking regularly to ensure their trees are still healthy. Some of the early signs of tree mortality include a change in the color of leaves from a healthy green to a red or even brown color. Frass may accumulate in crevices in the tree and may fall on the ground and become visible, resembling very fine reddish coffee ground material at the base of the tree. And trees will also release sap from their pitch tubes in response to bark beetle attacks. White pitch tubes indicate the tree was successful in repelling an attack from these pests but reddish brown tubes may indicate that the tree's defense were unsuccessful in stopping the beetle's attacks. Once the signs of tree mortality are visible, unfortunately nothing can be done to save the tree and homeowners should remove them before they become fuel for the next wildfire. By removing your dead trees, you reduce your wildfire risk around your home. Experts also recommend that homeowners thin out dense areas of trees on their property as part of their defensible space plan. Dense tree stands create more competition between the trees for available water and sunlight, leaving all the trees weaker and less able to fend off pests. By thinning smaller, weaker trees, homeowners give those stronger trees a much better chance to thrive. The effects of five years of drought have had lasting consequences on the health of California's trees, consequences that will likely be felt for years to come. While it may be too late to save millions of the state's trees, it's vital that Californians remain diligent in reducing the impacts of the devastation. Learn more about the bark beetle epidemic and how you can make a difference by visiting prepareforbarkbeetle.org.